one one of the major challenges that B2B has specifically where you have companies that have both presence, both a B2C and a B2B component to their business. Um, the, the B2B often gets treated as the, uh, what's the, what's the term, the redheaded stepchild. Um, you know, Correct. they're, they're, they're kind of ignored and, and kind of put in the corner and, and then they get this lens of, well, here's what your B2C friends did. So just do what they did. Um, but there's so much more nuance to, um, to how B and B2B operates that, those companies that try to overlay that kind of framework from the B2C side are putting themselves in an incredibly difficult spot because it is fundamentally different. Mm -hmm. What, what are some of those things that make a B2B customer different from a B2C customer? What are some of the obvious things people realize, but then where I want to then take this is, is what are some of the smaller details, the finer details that people miss when it comes to trying to court and work with a B2B customer? I mean, just right on the surface, the buyer profile is completely different. Um, uh, you know, for as a B2C, I'm, I'm purchasing for me, you know, my, my specific needs. For B2B, I'm purchasing as a proxy agent for the business that I represent. And I may not even care about the stuff that I'm, I'm buying. So on B2C, where we're we're driven a lot by emotion and by what our friends are saying. Um, B two B, especially in a kind of a B two B retail setting, it's it's quite different from that, right? It's a very operational kind of tactical process that is uh, really a different feel from 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 B two C. The the biggest challenges, again, looking specifically at more B two B retail type of um, environments, is your your purchase process is often completely different, right? So I, I mean, I can go to the store, I can go to staples.com and slap down my credit card and buy, you know, whatever, some paper for my printer. Uh, as a B2B buyer, it's usually not that that easy. Um, you know, to oftentimes you're having to handle things like purchase orders and, and billing and on things that are just completely different that you would never have to think about um, from a consumer purchase um, funnel perspective. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the conversion funnel, one of the things I think people often miss is the, the time, you know, yeah. the, the actual time to conversion that's, that's right. is often significantly different. Almost Where, always longer, yeah. much, much, Lo longer. much longer. Yeah. Like, um, I, I worked for a company for about a year and a half early in my career as, as a small business rep working out of, out of a retail store, um, major technology manufacturer, um, because they wanted to try to build up like small business, um, you know, a, a small business sales unit. Um, but like, you know, at kind of, you know, crossing between the retail side of the business and the direct side of the business. So direct business sales didn't have the time of day for your, like your local shop that was looking to buy two or three computers. They were dealing in hundreds. Yeah. Um, but still, and the biggest problem I had in this role was working with, because my management reported up through the consumer retail was working with them and helping them understand that my clients would take weeks to convert. It we, would, yeah. And that's probably weeks. short, right? And that's on the shorter side. It wasn't like, you know, someone who walked in today and said, Hey, yeah, I run a small graphics de design firm and I'm hiring two new employees in the future. What does it look like for me to be able to do this? Or, or a phone call came in or, or whatever a lead came in for it. Like you're, you're talking about like multiple conversations you're looking at potentially a couple weeks to, to close this deal. It wasn't something like pick up the phone and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that order today. And like that, that lead time, that lead to conversion time is, is often much longer. And it's, it's one of those nuances that people often miss when comparing B2C to B2B. Mm -hmm.